<clears throat> hey guys, back again, and today, um, just wanted to quickly uh, show some pickups, guys, um, PS4 pickups, and uh, another thing before I get into that is, uh, watch the uh, reveal of the PlayStation 5, guys, a um, little bit, uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, really, I mean, it was, it was weird, because, like, I was expecting, like, a V-shaped console, then I thought with them actually showing the controller, I was expecting it to be white because the controller, they normally keep the same color scheme going. So I kind of expected that. But anyway, guys, don't know too much about it other than the console itself and obviously the uh, price and, well, the estimated price and the uh, launch and some of the games. But really hope for it, guys. Can't wait. Gran Turismo 7, new Abe. Cannot wait. But anyway, guys, that's another story for another day. These games are um, really, really good games in my opinion. Um... So, well, I got a bugger. I'll just get into it, guys. Right, here's the first game, guys. Um, Jack and Dexter Precursor Legacy. Um, main reason for picking this game up is I just really love the Jack and Dexter collections. Um, first one is my absolute favorite, and believe it or not, it's the most expensive one on them all on the PlayStation. I don't know why. Um, if you've got a PlayStation 3, guys, you're probably just better off picking it up on there. Or just downloading it off the store because it's probably cheaper. But if you, but I'm I'm not one for that guy, so I'm not like you know trying to spout that because I hate digital content. I hate online only crap. I just I just hate it with a passion. So um yeah, uh, this is how I basically got it. Anyway, guys, didn't get it. Uh, it actually was brand new, but I didn't buy it brand new. You know what I mean? It was used, but still new and sealed. So yeah, and they come in this protector, so they paid extra for the protector, and I keep it in there. But I did open the game, guys, because I wanted to play it. It does come with the uh, you you know the, the reversible cover, the white version. I prefer the original version because this is how it was um, on the PS2, and that's how I prefer to play it. Now the only reason I say, guys, you know, only pick it up if you want to, because I ended up paying um, almost a hundred pound for this game. But now people might go, you idiot or whatnot, what the hell, what the hell, you know what I mean? But to me, guys, it was worth it because I liked the game. I didn't buy it because it was valuable. I didn't buy it because it was worth money. I bought it because I really enjoy playing it, and it's a game that I can play over and over again. I really enjoyed the game. Now, people might say, we well, just download it. It's cheaper, but that's not my style, guys. I like physical copies of the games. Now, I picked up quite a few games um, recently, guys. So uh, if you want to see what other games I've picked up, guys, um, let me know down below, and I'll do some more on it, but when we actually move house, guys, I'll do a full PlayStation 4 uh, collection, maybe, so, but anyway, guys, this is the back of the game, really, really cool, anyway, and uh, I said, I really enjoyed it, I mean, yeah, was it was expensive, hell yeah, it was expensive, and, um, but I don't regret it, guys, don't regret it, oh, moving on, though, guys, Jack 2, now, Jack 2, even though, again, it's a limited run game, and I don't understand why limited run really got the, um, go ahead to bring these games out, because to be fair, Naughty Dog or any other person that would have brought this out as an actual physical release, I think people would have, a lot more people would have picked it up, guys, I mean, I think Jack and Dex is a game that's, you know, liked all round by a lot of people, I think mean, these were the games where platforming was added, you know, this is the next thing, the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, you know, everyone loved the Jack and Dexter collection, and I think Jack and Dexter is just an amazing game. I know I keep saying Jack and Dexter, by the way, goes. But my favourite character, obviously, is Dexter. He's hilarious. I love the little quirks he does, especially when you die and the, the little cutscenes and that, like his, his voice. It's just funny. It really is funny. Now, the thing is, guys, right, I love the uh, reversible cover on this. But the only reason I didn't use it, and I'll actually show that one because I ain't got to take out the blue plastic and mess around with it. But again, guys, this game did come new, uh, but was used technically because it wasn't like, you know, but it was new and still when I got it. Um, but really, really awesome game, guys. But this is the only reason, and this one didn't actually come with a bit of, you know, the plastic cover. So I, I've actually got them how I actually got them, so. But as you can see, guys, the reversible cover is really cool. Let me just take out the disc, guys. I'll just tip upside down. For people that notice, look, I do this with mine upside down so it doesn't get scratched. But the cover looks like this. It's really cool. But the bottom has the writing on it. And I was like, you know, that's just kind of spoiled it a little bit. So for that reason and that reason alone, I didn't use the um the other cover that's the only reason guys it does come with the manual this manual is the prop pleasure 2 manual but they just shrank it which i think is really cool and i i kind of like that very very different but yeah guys so jack and dexter 2 also really like the spine on that because um pleasure 2 games obviously was like this and 
I would have preferred it to be, you know, cool and colourful. You know, what's wrong with colour? And obviously, guys, the third game is Jack 3. Now, I did turn the cover inside out on this one because the other cover version of it is like a dusty look to it. And I just didn't like that version to this one. So I did do the, um, you know, the reverse cover on it. Um, sorry, guys, if I'm not really with it. I'm talking jibber, jibber, jabba, jabba, jibber, jabba, jabba, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> I'm just not with it, guys. I'm quite um hot today and i just got a lot on my mind at the moment uh, i've just figured making this video might actually take my mind off the shit that's going on in my life right now but yeah but yeah guys jack and dex are free awesome now i don't understand guys why like jack and dexter 2 and jack and dexter 3 is a lot cheaper than jack and dexter 1 i really don't know maybe it is that jack and dexter the precursor legacy is the best one or so so i don't know guys i mean they're all limited run as you guys can see and they're all very, very, very good games. I just don't understand why the first one holds the money more. Unfortunately, though, guys, you know, I don't like limited run games very much. And the only reason I don't like limited run games very much is because I just feel like it's a real missed opportunity for, like, real gamers. I mean, not everyone's made of money. Me being one of these people, guys, I'm not made of money. I would have bought these games from launch if I had the money. I didn't have the money. Luckily, they're able to be, you know, I'm able to get the money together to get these. My wife helped me get these. She loves platform games. She loves the Jack and Dexter games herself. But the thing is, guys, right, if you ain't got the money for these style of games and they just go out the way, you know, they, they come, they go. And it, it's a big shame for a lot of people because, you I mean... They're not asking a lot of money for them in limited run. They're like $25. So, in, you know, in UK money, that's like 15, 17 quid. Um, that's not a lot of money at all, guys. But the problem is there's only like 3,000 copies worldwide. And not everybody has the money there and then to get it. You know, I think if they actually printed this game as a normal everyday game, it would be awesome. Now, I don't actually own Jack and Dexter Racing, guys. I just, um, I don't know if I'm going to pick that up or not. I didn't really play that as a kid, so I don't really know what to say about it. Um, so, you know, whether or not I will pick that one up or not, I don't know, guys. But, yeah, but here's the back of this one, guys. Oh, I think I've actually showed the back of it. I'm bloody losing my mind, guys. But I'll put them out there on the row, guys, so get a bit of a backdrop picture here. But, yeah, I've picked up a lot of games uh, just recently, guys. So if you guys do want to see any more of the other games I've picked up, guys, just let me know. Um, I picked up uh, a couple of Switch games. Oh, I picked this up in the world, guys. I might as well show this one. This is here. Uh, my wife picked me up this. And I loved this game as a kid. I didn't actually have it on the PlayStation 2, though. I had it on the um, original Xbox. And uh, I really liked the game. I thought it was really, really funny, really, really quirky. You know, you play, obviously, Dr. Minuto, and he can transform into all these different uh, animals. This is actually in a really good condition copy. It's got the manual, no scratches, no blah 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 Really, really good game. I know it's got nothing to do with the Jack and Dexter collection, guys, but I thought I'd show it as it's here. And it was a really good game, and bring back to nostalgia. But yeah, guys, like I said, if you do want to play the Jack and Dexter collection, guys, and you have got a PS4, but you also do have a PS3, I'd just recommend picking up the PS3. The graphics is not no different at all, guys. In fact, I actually think the HD collection um, on the PlayStation 3 might actually even be better because these are the straight-up PlayStation 2 ports. When you load these games up, you get the PlayStation 2 logo and everything, but that isn't to be even to be put off. It's just obviously price, guys. I mean, this game here goes for around £45, £50. This one goes for around, again, £45, £50. You might be lucky and get it for 35 sometimes. But this one always holds its price, guys. And you're looking anything between £100, £80 and more. And uh, it's ridiculous, guys, because the game is really awesome. And it's just a shame that, unfortunately, Limited Run doesn't understand that. It's not always the gamers that get to get these games. It's the greedy people that's got the money that's like, I'm going to make a, a fortune on these games. You know, I'll pay $25 or £17 UK money. I'll get it shipped over here. I'll buy 10, 20 copies and I'll sell them at 50 quid a pop. And that's what people are doing, guys. And it's a shame, really, for people that can't afford the game at the time, like myself, I mean, because I had to pay almost £200 for, you know, the entire collection. And, you know, I'm not regretting it because I love the games and I'm never, never going to sell them. But, you know, it's just a bit of a piss take there. It's a lot of money, really, when you think if they'd have put it out for 40 quid for all three, I'd have, I wouldn't have minded paying for it. So, you know, hopefully, though, guys, you know, they won't keep doing it. I mean, some, a lot of limited run games, like, you know, they're ditty and, they're, you know, some people might want it, some people might not. Um, I've got a few limited run games recently, guys. That's what I've said. If you want to see any more games, guys, or what I've picked up recently, uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll show them, guys. But, uh, no, sorry this video has lasted so long. 
But before I end it, guys, just want to give you a quick touch subject. Like I said on the PlayStation 5, I did see the reveal. Really happy with it. Some people aren't happy with it, but it's to each and their own. I'm not worried about the, the color white on it. People aren't some people are backlashing about it's white. That doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, the first PlayStation was grey. So, you know, you know, second one was black, third one was black, fourth one was black, and white and red and every other bloody colour you can get it. It doesn't make a difference, guys, at the end of the day. I mean, the console looks nice, the graphics looks nice. It's all about you know, long-term jeopardy, really, is the console reliable and that, and that's all I care about, and um, I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering it as soon as I can, and uh, going from there, now, I'm not team PlayStation, I'm not team Xbox, guys, I'm going to be picking up both when I can, and if anyone thinks, you know, oh, you stuck up Toffee Nose Twat, you clearly got money, no, I don't, guys, the difference between me and everybody else is I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't go on expensive holidays, I don't own a car that takes £10,000 to fill it up and go five miles, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, yeah, I my money goes on games and games alone, you know, and presents for my wife and just stuff, random stuff like that. It doesn't go on expensive holidays to Jamaica and fucking everywhere else. So, you know, for people to start batching and moaning about what I'm doing with my money, it's nothing to do with fucking me got lots of money because I haven't, guys. I ain't got a pot the bloody piss in, but not like it matters to anyone else anyway. It's my money, buy what I want. But, you know, I just wanted to let that out there, guys, because a lot of people are like, well, it's all right for you, you rich, clearly got money. Rich, mate, you couldn't swing a cat in my house, it's that small. You fucking sneeze in here, you head butt the front door and get whiplash from the back door, so you know what I'm saying? It's not so small. But, anyway, guys, to the real people that understand my gripe and understand that, you know, limited run games are expensive and stuff, and the PlayStation 5, hopefully you guys like what you guys saw. I was more than happy with what I saw. Um, hopefully everyone's staying safe and hopefully this fucking pandemic thing's gonna piss off before long. Hopefully anyway, guys, we don't know. And, um, yeah, that's all I've got to say, guys. Thanks for watching. It means a lot. And, uh, I'll see you all in the next one.